Tiger Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was popping, was popping, was hey, was popping, was popping. Camera crooked, it was popping, was popping. Tiger Lily Squad gang, gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It's your girl, S is a shade. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be doing a get ready with me. I wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. Um, not about my hair update that'll be a next video ne 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 next video and um but in today's video i want to talk about a topic that um i had uh gotten uh that but before that i'm getting ready so that i can film the next video which will be my hair update um but i had a conversation with one of my uh closest friends Yesterday, I hadn't spoken to her in a while, and we were just sitting down and talking, and uh, a subject came up. And it was crazy that it came up because I always thought about it in my head, but I ain't really like verbally expressed it. Mainly because I was embarrassed, to be completely honest. Um, but we're gonna talk about that right now. But before we get to anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells, ringy ding 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 ding. Follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shay. And let's get right into the video, sissies kings let's go um so i was talking to her about like because she was uh surprised that i had cut my hair and she had asked me uh why i cut my hair and just like i explained to her i mean explain to y'all i explained to her like i just have been going through a lot of stuff the past 20 years good and bad and it was just time for reflection you know and i always take responsibility for myself i really i rarely blame anybody else which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes is a bad thing but let me get my mirror hold on i'm back so and then i had to turn because the gossip girl was playing in the background and i didn't realize that but um sometimes it's a good thing and a bad thing because the reason why it's a bad thing is because sometimes instead of putting the responsibility on somebody else's actions i kind of take it on myself and um that's not good because i can't be held responsible for other people's actions only my own you know so that's that so what what the conversation ended up being about was a lack mindset and oftentimes when when you think of lack mindset you think of it only monetary like if i'm thinking that i don't have or it's going to be hard for me to make money then it's going to be hard for me to make money and i'm always going to be struggling and i'm always going to be going through all this stuff and there's more and that is true but also it has to do with um lag mindset can be in any facet of your life and i realized in my 20 years i thrived off of a lack mindset like i didn't think i was um i thought i would have to be somebody that i'm not to have friends i thought i would have to make up stories about myself to make me seem more popping to have people around in my life um it's just a lot bro um i and and after realizing like when i tell y'all 2020 was rough but also it was a year of self-reflection like really shadow work um and if you don't know what shadow work is it's basically 
went in a roundabout way is basically um you sitting down and thinking about all the things that have in a sense trigger you um it could be family things parent stuff uh relationships whatever it is things that are have triggered you and you find it a little difficult to talk about so shadow work is basically taking a couple days to yourself without doing anything if you can and um really sitting down and monitoring and writing down how these things have affected you um in your life thus far and just it 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 seems easier said than done but once you get into it so for me when i did my shadow work i realized that majority of my life i lived in a lack mindset so hence why a lot of things just came and went quickly um a lot of things uh kind of messed up and and didn't pan out how i thought it would be because of how it started um where the reason why i am healing from anything that i'm dealing with right now it is mainly because of a lack mindset i didn't think i was worth an easy life i didn't think that friends came easily or friends would stick around because of just me just genuinely shay um and i know i'm a dope person people who are close to me that i didn't feel like i needed to perpetrate a fraud with know that i'm a good person but newcomers i felt like i had to be this person that i wasn't just to get them around and then they would find out because what's done in dark comes in light um and then i wouldn't have these friends anymore or same for uh uh money i didn't i thought money was hard for me to attain um and then i would get it and then in a blink of an eye it would go away and then it would take forever for it to come back is because of my mind my lack mindset like i didn't think that i can get all these things and if i got them i felt like they were too hard for me to attain and a lot of times that is why sometimes we struggle with some stuff or we realize the same patterns keep happening in our life because we just have a lack mindset in everything it's not just monetary i'm telling y'all it's really not so i also in my shadow work i just was like i realized some things that i need to change about myself which is like to be true to me like whoever is meant to be around will be around the money it will come i don't have to um be weird about it or think that it's it's hard the money the money comes you understand what i'm saying the money come where is my brush the money comes right and um just be true to myself get more spiritually inclined talk to god a little bit more um meditate more for sure meditation has for sure helped me just like center myself and um realize who i am and be okay with it and just manifest the life that i truly want um i am not prepared i thought i had all my stuff but i don't anyways but yeah, we sat down and we spoke about that. And I was like, yo, I got to talk to my family about this. Like my Tiger Lily squad. Because I feel like uh, oftentimes um, we always ponder in life and wonder why things aren't working out the way that we want it to work out. Why does the same things keep happening over and over and over again? 
and for me that basically was it like my lack mindset contributed to a lot of the bad things that have happened or, or the not so good or the things who that just have not manifested this is why these things have happened also it goes deeper of course because i didn't have my father in my life so when it comes to men um i feel like i hold on to men who i feel like i can fix because that was a that was a situation that i couldn't fix does that make sense that was a situation that i couldn't fix i couldn't understand what happened i didn't get any answers as far as that went so i just now in life i hold on to guys who really don't need to be around no more i mean i'm still a work in progress but because I figured out that's what I do, I've become a little bit more selective in my suitors. <laughs> the lighting might actually suck because it's raining outside, but we're just gonna work with it. Um, but. We're not gonna only talk about the negative, right? We're also gonna talk about what we should do to change that, right? Living in a like mindset. I think a lot, oftentimes the easiest thing is to just, well, it's not easy. I shouldn't say easy, but the quickest thing I would say is to live in gratitude right soon as you wake up in the morning like i mean as soon as you wake up as soon as you open your eyes i would suggest saying thank you simple just thank you Ooh, dang thank you for waking up for me waking up this morning. Thank you for, just thank you. You don't even have to be specific, just say thank you. Um, and immediately you feel, yeah, it's, it's, you just have to get into a high frequency, right? So it's thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the next thing I do, this is what I do, I pray, pray to God, Father, listen, thank you for waking me up. Thank you for da -da -da, whatever. And then, then I write down, um, then I read a couple Bible verses. Nothing crazy. Because I'm still trying to learn the Bible and some, some things I just don't get. Like the wording and stuff. I just It just doesn't make any sense to me. I'll just keep it a book. And um, then I meditate. Meditation is my secret to living a high frequency life in a um what's the opposite of lack? A bountiful life, right? Because oftentimes with meditation, especially for me, my mind it it, it really just doesn't quiet. Like, my mind just does not quiet down. So oftentimes for me, like, it, it's easy for me to meditate because I visualize the life that I want and the life that I see that I can have, right? So oftentimes, that's what happens with me. Like, I, I'm just sitting down... And your hands are up as you're ready to receive. Your hands are down. You're grounding. You're centering yourself, right? And I and sometimes I lay down and I do it. And I just envision like how the day is gonna go, what it's gonna bring, uh, -uh. and all of that stuff that helps. And also what helps as well is affirmations. Like people will say this all the time, but like I think people take it as a joke. Just saying that I am happy. Sit simple i am happy i am blessed 
never stressed. Um, the world is my oyster. Everything I want, I create. Simple little things, just jump into whatever you want. You know what I mean? And do these, make it your morning routine. And sometimes you can't do it all because you have work and you have other obligations, which I understand. But making sure that you are in a high frequency kind of like sets the tone for your life, bro. Like, come on, we can't we can't continue to live in this mindset. I'm gonna use my uh, Camille up, uh, Camille chamomile ginger tea this is a new product it smells amazing i'm just gonna use that not too much my hair's already frizzy so um we will be washing this soon but uh just wake waking her up a little bit right and then i'm gonna use my covet oil just put some in my hand rub that Rub that around and just rub that through my hair. I definitely need to uh, redo my hair. This lasted a while. So I did this on a Sunday, a Monday or a Sunday. Hold on, I don't remember. Today is a Thursday and it's starting to get frizzy, but it lasted. I'm still getting used to <laughs> the shortness. I'm still getting used to it, but I'm here for it. The key right now is just getting my hair back to its glory and health, getting my scalp and my roots um, healthy, right? Um, and then I'm going to take this Camille Rose leave-in conditioner. Um, it's supposed to just help with hydrating. Um, just put a little bit and just take some, some things that look too frizzy and just coil it. Nothing mage. Yeah, she frizzy frizzy. I'm just gonna lay my edges, sis, and then we done. To do that, I use this um, Style Edge Booster. I collabed with them two years ago, and I still have like Mattity products. And um, that's what I use to lay down my edges. Okay, so this is the final look. Nothing too crazy. Y'all know I don't be doing too much. Only if I'm going out, um, but I'm not. I'm just doing this to record a video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comment below box below. Now that we had this conversation, what in your life are you living off of a base of lack? Lacking. Um, you'll be surprised to realize that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go to my other videos and watch them. Watch them, sis. Like, comment. Let me know what you think. What, how you feeling the haircut? I mean, it ain't shade. It is shade, but a different shade. All right? Uh, see you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with